Hi everyone, I'm Joel Baird, the General Manager of Missoula Community Access Television, inviting you to another edition of What's Up Missoula. Um, today in the studio is Tom Benson and Matt Anglin. They've come from the Missoula Cultural Council to talk about First Night Missoula. Thanks you guys for coming over. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's looking really good. Oh, Josh is taking pictures, but I'm going to ask um, if he couldn't zoom in on the poster, because I really like the colors. And Matt, you designed that? Um, that's right. Yes, I did. I should mention while he's getting that shot that we're in front of the sculpture work of Mark Matthews. This piece is called The Ring Shout, and he was our first Friday artist for December. And what a chilly night that was, mm. <laughs> minus six. Okay, I guess people got an idea. But um, Tom, this is 20 years, That's right? right, yeah. That is yeah. pretty amazing. Do you want to tell people a little of the background of First Night Missoula? Sure. Uh, well, First Night is a concept that's been around since the 1970s. The city of Boston, uh, in, in the middle of the 1970s, tried to come up with a project that would revive the downtown and get people interested in coming downtown and being sort of civic-minded and thinking about their community. And they came up with the idea of celebrating um, the community uh, on New Year's Eve with a festival of art. And so First Night was that concept. And it, and it combines community building with celebration, with New Year's Eve, a time of renewal, with art, which is what it's a festival of. Uh, and, it, and it seems to work. And it's worked uh, for 20 years in Missoula. We started it, as I said, 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and um, there are about 50 or 60 communities now that that uh, do a first night on New Year's Eve, and uh, we're happy to say we're, we're one of the stronger ones. Yeah, that's really great. And Matt, you've been helping out at the Cultural Council a goodly while now, right? Uh, yes, yeah, it's going to be my second uh, first night. Yeah. So I've uh, been doing it for a little bit. Great poster design, too. I really Thank you. like that. So um, that is it in a nutshell. Um, first night, Missoula provides people with all kinds of venues to see um, music, dance, theater, visual art. That's right. And um, it culminates at the end of the evening, everyone is invited to go to one location, University Center mm -hmm. at the University of Montana campus. And what goes on there? Well, by midnight, there's uh, two main things you can do. The <clears throat> Ed Norton Big Band does the traditional sort of New Year's Eve in a tuxedo, all Lang Syne, big band music. And the Drum Brothers uh, perform in the Commons, in another part of the University Center, and, and they do a more uh, alternative version of right. New Year's Eve, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's rung in, that's it. it Everyone is. gets together just as they do gather around that ball in that's right. New York Times Square, and other places have different things that, that mark the very minute for that location. That's right. That the New Year starts. So this will be the place to mark the very minute that's right. in Missoula. Oh, Josh, I hate to give you more work, but here is this booklet, because I want to give people the idea of the scope, and you guys probably know thereabouts, how many different artists there are. I'm showing people at home, I'm showing you a picture of the different, oh, I was that wrong, of the venues on one side, and then here's time going by, and you can see there's lots of different places you could go um, pretty much all day long. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, it goes from uh, 12 noon to midnight, and we've got about 80 plus uh, artists and performers Great. all over town. And then um, I'll mention, you know, I'll just run down a list to give people an idea. I'll skip almost down the list, let's say. Break Espresso, Dana Gallery, Karis Park, Courthouse Lawn. Um, that's where the ice carving chefs will be. Well, it's ice, yeah, they're the chefs. It says that Gourmet Grizzlies, ice carving chefs. Well, that's that's what chefs. This is what chefs learn how to do. Is they oh, learn how sure, to carve sure, to make, ice to make a fish or right. a beautiful lady or right. something like so that. So that's the Missoula College, uh, you know, chefs. Yeah. Oh, I students. See. And learning. that's where there'll be ice sculptures on display. Mm -hmm. um, downtown Dance Collective, beautiful space. Uh, Florence Front Sidewalk, uh, the sonnet mm -hmm. on the sidewalk we were talking about earlier. Missoula Children's Theater has things. The Missoula Art Museum. Murphy Jub Fine Art will have a, a watercolor workshop there. The Roxy Theater is part of it. Oh, look, they're show, I don't know if they're showing the website. There's a picture of Christian there's Ackerman. Christian, yeah. Christian works mm -hmm. at MCAT, and there's a picture of him 
being a mime at That's the right, Children's at, Theater. Missoula Children's mm -hmm. Theater. And it, Christian has been uh, part of First Night, I don't know, for 20 years, but for, yeah, we're for a, darn close to it. So, I, think, I think we discovered there's only one performer who's done every, every First Night, and that oh, is, is that right? The Octopus. No Our chess kidding. champion. Greg has, has, Nowak. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Octopus. Yep. That's pretty cool. Congratulations, yeah. Greg. Um, the Senior Citizen Center will have things. The Spectrum downtown, Spectrum UM downtown, mm -hmm. the science place. Of course, the Wilma Theater will come back to the First Night Star. Uh, the Zoo Town Arts Community Center, that's on, on the north side of the rail tracks, just barely. Zoo Town Brew, Denison Theater, University of Montana, UM Recital Hall, University of Montana, UC Ballroom, and UC Commons. They mentioned some of the things, but there'll be things in there as early as 2 o'clock like the Montana Super Skippers. That's right. I was very careful to say that. Skippers. Um, turning the wheel, that's like a improv, and they put on performances mm -hmm. and that's right. whatnot. Um, UC Theater, Gaelic Meadowlarks, that sounds really good. UC Third Floor Lounge, Missoula Butterfly House. What is that? Um, that's sort of an interactive uh, science exhibit. Oh, uh, cool, yeah. They have all kinds it. of insects and butterflies. And, uh, right. It's kind of geared towards kids to yeah. kind of learn and explore. They had some bugs. You know, I took some kids to um, the haunted house mm. on the fairgrounds that mm -hmm. Roothead Studios had done, and that they were there with, like, giant, mm -hmm. slimy cockroaches, like, really big. It was so disgusting. That was excellent. You see room 332, which is on the third floor there. I can't read this without like going down because it's right at the crack. Stories of Big Sky Country and Montana Rama. Now that's Leslie Van Stavenmalar the third. It is. It is. Is she being science woman? She's or? being science. She's woman. being science. Woman. Okay, yes. yeah. in Montana Rama, and then at the UC Atrium, PBS Kids characters and Montana Clown Works. I like that guy very much. Here's the octopus. So he would, for people who don't know, Greg Noack. He can play like. 20 people at a time. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes blindfolded. I'm not <laughs> sure. But then he cheats. Um, he can play a lot of people at a time and win. Mm -hmm. The Glacier Ice Rink, free skating if you have the button. Mm -hmm. So should we talk about the button? Like how do people access all this sure. bounty? Sure, this, this button is your ticket to first night. Right. It, uh, because, because we have events going on from noon until midnight. Um, and we actually pay our artists, so, um, so when you buy a button, you're not just getting admission, you're actually supporting the arts in Missoula, because that's yeah. what we do. It was, it's mostly local performers, and, uh, and we pay them. And so these buttons are available at about 15 or 20 different outlets, mostly grocery stores, right. um, in Missoula and in the Bitterroot Valley. Um, and and you, can, you can get them or you can get them online at, at our website. Right, and one button is going to get you in if you chose. You could keep yourself and your family occupied, entertained for 12 hours. That's, That's right. right. On that day. Yeah. For 12 hours on that day. You know, and we used to talk about, we used to say um, part of the emphasis for first night was to say you can really have a good time that is not in the, the party bar scene and that alcohol isn't permitted at the events. I don't know if that's changed with no, alcohol. We, we still do, yeah, we don't serve alcohol. Right. Um, and the reason that was sort of a, that was before it was founded in Missoula, back when they, folks in Boston yeah, were discussing right. first night, they, there was a lot of initial resistance for people coming to the center of town on New Year's Eve to celebrate uh, because a, because a lot of people with families and whatnot said, "Oh, I'm not going anywhere downtown." It's, They're worried it's, that it's, people it's, are drinking and driving and be dangerous. Yeah. That's right. So we said. So the first night organizers said, "Well, we just won't include alcohol." Right. And oddly enough, by excluding something, it's more inclusive. More people actually come. If you want to drink, there's plenty of places that you can well, sure. get a drink right. on New Year's Eve. But you just won't have, be able to have a drink if you go into one of, if you go to a first night event, there just won't be a drink available. So. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And, it but, and it's also, though, similarly, anyway, it's real kid friendly. Mm -hmm. A lot of kid yeah. stuff you probably loaded in the oh, yeah. afternoon, mm -hmm. that's like right. that. And, um, the buttons did, I can't remember, you said the price. $15. $15. Yeah. And then how are you doing on volunteers? We'll be running this, today's December 9th, tomorrow till the end <laughs> of the month. Well, Partly because I'm going on vacation for my show. But 
Um, do you have a need for volunteers? I mean, this is a huge undertaking, people of TV land. You know, you've got this enormous list of venues. There's someone there selling buttons. There's someone there checking buttons, mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. sure the venues are flowing and safe and all the other things that you do. So are you fixed, or do you want uh, some? We could definitely take some volunteers, for okay. sure. It's a big job. We need a lot of people to help out. Um, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, you can just pick your shift. Um, and, you know, a lot of people like to look at the program, see what they're going to be working at. Yeah, yeah. Pick something they like. And um, you get to kind of just hang out. Um, your main job is to make sure everyone has their buttons and then um, kind of greet the public and uh, yeah. welcome them into the venue. And um, it's two to three hours, and you get a free button if you volunteer. Right, so, so there's a way around the $15 mm -hmm. price tag. The people are living mm -hmm. lightly, they have a little time on their hands, they enjoy seeing other people. Yeah. It could be a thing. Now, for contact, I think these guys could get up the Facebook page for okay. First Night Missoula. But if they want to, if, if the audience there wants to call, is that okay? Should they sure. call and leave yeah, a they message? Should, um, they should definitely call. Okay. Um, you can call me at... Uh, 406-541-0860, and I will help you out and get you scheduled. Okay, great. And then mm -hmm. the website, for whatever reason we were getting it to it today, they put it on the screen. It's missoulacultural.org, mm -hmm. and then people will easily see the first night mm -hmm. events. And, um, and this booklet goes at the same availability, right, as the button. That's right. So you, if you're not web savvy, you can pick this booklet up in a supermarket near you. And in it is detailed, you know, everyone who's exhibiting or performing that evening. And um, in the middle, it's got like this timeline, the location and the time. So you can kind of circle your day mm -hmm. if you want to. Well, shoot fire. I don't know that we covered everything. There's some major sponsors here. Southgate Mall, Good Food Store, Cherry Creek Radio, KCI 13, and Missoulian. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there something we didn't cover that we should? Because we'll be just knocking ourselves later. Well, the other thing is that you can park in downtown and you can take a bus between the downtown oh, and the point. university center. We have uh, beach transportation is, is going to be uh, um, providing bus service uh, to and from. So um, you don't have to walk that far that night. Right. And if you, um, a lot of restaurants will be open. A lot of venues will be serving food yeah. as well. The university center is loaded with food that day. Uh, so some people like to just park there and oh the yeah yeah the and so they can park in one place mm -hmm. and then get on the first night bus system that's right that goes to the various venues yeah that's yeah. a great idea and it's got to be warmer than it is now it's already <laughs> warming up that's right yeah. I remember though there were some cold there have been cold. there have been some cold I mean the last twenty years yep. Yep. Th there has been yeah um, what else did we say everything. Anything we should add? Well, it begins uh, at noon at Southgate Mall. Okay. Uh, we have a parade of hats. Oh, uh, the parade is new, right? Yeah. Well, it's not all that new, okay. uh, but uh, it's indoors. It's inside the mall. And at noon, uh, you can take your family to the mall, and, and they'll have supplies to make a hat. You can, you can make your favorite hat with, you know, little buttons and oh, things cool. and stick it on there. And uh, Mayor Engen comes and sort of opens up the festivities, and we have a, a, a parade through the mall and, and uh, some prizes. And, and then uh, there's a couple of events going on at the mall. And then after that, it shifts to the downtown and to the university. And as, as, the, as the time goes on and as the day goes on, uh, particularly as you get later in the evening, more events are happening at the university uh, because people like to dance on New Year's right. Eve. And the university, the ballroom and the commons are the two biggest dance floors in Missoula. Yeah, that's and right. that's where we have some, some of the great bands playing. So. Yeah, as you mentioned, the big band mm -hmm. sound. Was, did you say Ed Norton? Ed Norton. The big band. Mm -hmm. And Marsala Drum Brothers. Mm -hmm. So they right. have lots of rhythm there as well. Yeah. And then we also had uh, the First Night Star we're doing at the Wilma Theater. Yeah, we didn't get to that. Uh, I totally forgot about that because it's almost, I mean, it's a phenomenon of its own, isn't it's it? A, it's an event yeah. within and an it, event. And it's a separate ticket purchase this year or is it included? Right. That's okay. right. You buy a button mm -hmm. and then you have to buy an additional $2 ticket to assure your seat right. in the Wilma. We don't want to mm -hmm. have everybody wait in line and then get shut out right. just cold at that point. Because it's so, that yeah. popular it too, is that right? Popular. I mean, the Wilma is a huge venue, mm -hmm. but you had overflow crowds for the first night star. Mm -hmm. That's right. And um, 
in the, the first night star is kind of like a competition like people are now so used to the television mm -hmm. competition right. Mm -hmm. right and they're judges and the right. judges and their credentials are detailed in this pamphlet mm -hmm. and that's so right on. it's all it's all in the program right yeah. um and could you tell people a little more what happens for first night star at the wilma well it begins with there are preliminary rounds that are occurring actually this week um, at the various high schools. It's open just to high school students in right. Missoula and, and surrounding areas. And after a preliminary round, the finalists get to perform uh, at the Wilma Theater. And by the time we get to New Year's Eve, there are probably about 12 or 15 finalists, uh, emceed by uh, Billy, Billy Jenkins from uh, Star FM. Okay. Uh, and we have, we have a handful of judges. And uh, um, it, it initially started as, as a karaoke uh, performance, but but more and more students are writing their songs and playing. Uh, oh, they're their showing maybe from the Facebook. There we go. There um, some pictures, yeah, pictures of people year. performing at the Wilma, right. and it looks very grand. I mean, a giant purple light. Oh yeah, we get the whole light show, and and uh, as you as you can see, this is this is a uh, someone who's playing with their own accompaniment, so it's sort of gotten beyond the karaoke thing, and right. it's uh, very often, as I say, original music. Um, and it's quite talented. The, the, the students uh, at Missoula's schools are really oh, they're quite, pretty amazing. quite talented. We yeah. had on um, Missoula Live, uh, John Combs came. He's the fine art supervisor mm -hmm. for uh, the, the high schools. In the, um, they're putting on an amazing array of concerts this December. Right. But I've gone to a few, and they're free. Right. And they're, yeah. I mean, it's pretty they're amazing. Good. Yeah, it is. It's, right? it's pretty remarkable. So, yeah, having narrowed down every high school aspiration in this regard down to 12 or 10, yeah. it's yeah. probably going to be a really good it's show. Good. It's a good show. At the, at the Wilma. It's a, it's a great show. So an additional $2, mm -hmm. can they get that where they get the buttons? Do they need to go to the Wilma box office? Um, there's only a few places where you can get it. Okay. Um, you can go through our website or come to our office. Buy the tickets, um, and then you can also go to uh, the Wilma, Rock and Rudy's, or Warden's Market. Okay, and they'll all have those there. Right, and just a two two extra dollars. Just two extra. See, I got to do that this year because <laughs> it's been a while. But you got to have a button and a ticket on top of. Yeah, right. right, on top of. Right. Um, that is terrific. Okay, so and if if people want to know, you've got quite a few uh, sponsors. Um, that you list in this pamphlet available at all supermarkets. And um, so the start of the event, noon, Southgate mm -hmm. Mall. The end of the event, midnight, mm -hmm. January 1st, 2014, mm -hmm. University of Montana, UC Theater. Great. Well, thanks you, to you both for coming over. Thank you. Yeah, thank and you for, for working us. on this thing. Oh, yeah. It's a lot forever. of fun. Oh, before we, we go, we should remember the first guy. Um, and I want to say, do ya that organized it. His first name was Graham. Graham, Graham Duya. Graham right? Duya, yeah, right. He, he organized the first first night, and he was director for a couple of years. Yep. And then he left Missoula, uh, but the, uh, the event stayed on. And, right, and the uh, Cultural Council, uh, the work you guys do, they took it up, right? We, we took it right. up about 10 years ago, I guess. Yeah, yeah. well, good on you. Well, thanks, you guys, for watching this edition of What's Up Missoula. Once again, we were talking about First Night Missoula, that is... Uh, New Year's Eve celebration citywide for 12 hours. Buttons are only $15. And you get a booklet that details all of the events um, at a grocery store. Or um, look up missoulacultural.org if you want to learn more about it that way. Well, thanks again for watching this edition of What's Up Missoula. If you know of a group and you want to see them on this show, give me a call at MCAT. The number is 542-6228. For MCAT, I'm Joel Baird. Thanks for watching. That was awesome.